And before you can start work on a Mac, you may need to test out your configuration and make sure that you've got the compiler that you'll need installed. Let me show you how to do this using CodeLite. I'm going to create a new workspace. Workspace, new workspace, give it a name. My test, and I'll add a project. I'll right click this and create new project. And give that a name. And Code Light creates the project here. I'll open my source file. So it's got a simple Hello World program that it's auto generated. Now I'm ready to test it. So I'm going to select the build menu, build and run project. Up pops the terminal, and it shows me an error message no such file or directory. So it hasn't compiled my project. Now let's look at what the problem is and how to fix it. Now it turns out that in order to get the C compiler that you'll need for use on a Mac when you're using an editor such as CodeLite, you also need to have installed Xcode. Xcode is Apple's own development environment and it comes with a number of useful tools and you can download it from the Mac App Store. And Xcode is free, so the first thing you need to do if you haven't already got it is go and get it. But even once you've got Xcode installed, you might still find that you're unable to compile your C programs. Well, you can fix that by going to the Xcode menu, Preferences, select Downloads, and here you'll see a number of components listed. It turns out that we need the command line tools. In older versions of Xcode, these were installed by default. They are no longer, and you specifically have to select to install them. And that's what I'm doing here. It may take a few minutes for the installation to complete. When it is, the command line tools will be shown as installed. At that point, you're ready to go back to CodeLite. And this is the program that I couldn't compile before. Let's try it again. I'm going to select once again, build and run project. And off it goes, and it displays Hello World. So this time, it's found the C compiler. The C compiler is identified as GCC, and you can verify where it's installed using this command, where is GCC. If it's not there, then the terminal will reply with nothing. It won't show you any location, but I've installed it now, so it shows me that's the folder where the C compiler has been installed. So once you've done that, you should be off and ready to go and continue following this course on your Mac.